I'm listening uh, to Boris Johnson in an interview yesterday. Um, he basically was saying that the Brexit deal is pretty much dead, the implication being that he thinks he's going to be able to renegotiate somehow. How high are the risks of that actually happening? Um, I'd put it the other way. Boris Johnson's chance of renegotiating in Europe on the Brexit deal is pretty slim. Um, on the major component, that is the withdrawal agreement, how yeah. much the UK is due to pay, the transitional terms and the Irish backstop. Where the future Prime Minister may be able to renegotiate is on the declaration on future trade. That's what the UK and EU future relationship looks like. But it will be on the condition by the EU that the UK accepts the terms of the withdrawal agreement as they are set out. Mm. How much closer are we? If we look, if we look, carrying on from Nera's point, uh, Johnson on his Twitter page, uh, if I become PM, it's deal or no deal on October the 31st. And that's the challenge he puts to J Jeremy Hunt. How much closer are we, Callum, given the, I suppose, the reluctance in Europe to renegotiate and open the door to renegotiation substantially? How much closer are we really to a hard Brexit at Halloween? I think we have a 35% chance of a hard Brexit. I increased that probability just a couple of weeks ago. What I notice is that the Conservatives are sliding badly in the polls. The Brexit Party are absorbing almost all of that slide. The Brexit Party did well versus the Conservatives in the European elections. This is now uh, introducing a new element into the Conservative debate. The new leaders think that it makes sense to take a hard line on Brexit. That on its own raises the hard Brexit risk, keeping in mind that it is the default option at the end of October. I would always make the point that Jeremy Corbyn is the glue that binds the Conservative Party together. So if they don't think they can win an election, it's a pretty big bet to say that some Conservatives would threaten to bring down the government if the UK were heading for a hard Brexit. Mm, Callum, at Berenberg, you point out as well that a lot depends on which Boris we get. And yes. this, of course, assuming that he becomes Prime Minister. So given that that is so uncertain as well, is there anything that markets can hang their hat on as more of a certainty in order to make bets either way on the pound, on gilts, whatever you like. I think that at the margin actually Boris Johnson may be a positive force. He is not an ideologue. Um, he's not... Um, He's completely out for his own interest mm. and I think if he were to become Prime Minister he would try to avoid an economic problem that could result from a hard Brexit and he would be smart enough to realise that even in a hard Brexit the EU would in any trade negotiations want the UK to pass parts of the withdrawal agreement so it makes sense just to do that straight away. I'm not sure that Boris Johnson has made his mind up yet about which Boris Johnson he will be. Yeah. The thing that concerns me is that I see both Remainers and Brexiteers alike pinning their hopes on Boris Johnson. Remainers that actually is a soft Brexiteer at heart and he'll try to avoid a hard Brexit just like May did and Brexiteers that he is a genuine hardliner. I think though that my bet would be he has the pro-Brexit credentials to convince his party to pass the withdrawal agreement on the basis that he would see to it that the UK won't end up in the customs union. Mm.